black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. A lot of people from Spain for some reason. But anyways, this half chicken, <clears throat> the other day I was really craving like a Southwest salad and some chicken. I hit up the store for, I think it's $8.99 for a whole roast chicken. So I had half that day. It was like maybe two days ago. And this is going to be a little biatch. <clears throat> so yeah, that was probably like two days ago. And then I just chucked this bad boy back into the oven for a little oven to get it more crispy again. to reinvigorate that flavor. Mm. And it did just that. One of the best deals at the grocery store, I feel like. for a cheap ready-made goes a long ass way for uh, under 10 bucks. See, I made it extra crisp. I like it like this though. Steam, but crispy. Back into the BBQ, bite for you. So yeah, I basically had a uh, couple little hiccups off the back of the antibiotics I was on for the tooth. Leaving me with the next oral, I got oral thrush. Because the antibiotics basically murder off <clears throat> probiotics. And the bad guys take over. And then you get what's called thrush. So I had to go to the doctor to get some meds for that. So I've been dealing with that low key behind the scenes. Also just busy with life shit. Because the holidays are en route and they're coming so damn fast. So if you're even able to, because I know a lot of people are strapped this year, that includes Me and my direct family, we just decided, like, as adults, it's like, if you're going to buy each other stuff, you're just basically exchanging, like, a similar amount of money 
and most usually you just you like straight up ask the person like what do you want <laughs> so we just decided let's just have dinner we'll do like stockings you know just some little quirky snacks and shit just enjoy each other's company so don't even worry about gifts just hang out watch movies have a good time And whatever I was going to buy you or you were going to buy me, maybe I'll just buy it myself. So we took the corporate out of the holiday. And added the family vibes, time spent, element right back in, because that's what it's all about right right also on top of that where I live we're going back into stupid mode what do I mean by that well we have stay at home orders again. Could have called it, did call it in my head. Months ago, knew it was gonna happen. But I don't like to talk about it on here because everybody is so sensitive. But if you don't see the shit playing out like a script at this point, you sleep. You know what I mean? Knew it was gonna happen though. So we're back in stay-at-home orders. Um, <clears throat> all, you know, restaurants, bars, gyms, everything's going back to 50%. However, this time, there's no government assistance for the businesses who need to run at 100% capacity. Otherwise, they die. So the government's not helping them this time around. And people will be severely, severely hurting. Doors will be permanently closing, I'm sure, after this for some people. And it's a sad state of affairs. So. We've been put back on dummy mode. And uh, I don't know that there's a timeline as to when these uh, things are expected to lift, but I can tell you this. As per my socials, I can 100% tell with my pulse or my, you know, my finger on the pulse of reading everybody, everybody's done. Everybody is completely and totally fed up. I can't find one person who like even is like in agreement. Everybody's done. Everybody's like, you guys want to tell me how many people I can have at my house for Christmas? Mm, fuck off. Till you pay my bills and whatnot. Mm, peace out. So we're reaching critical mass, people. We are reaching the breaking point, at least around here. I don't know what it's like where you live.
at least where I'm out, people are done. Right? It's also just a slap in the face. It's like, we did all the right things. We got all the stuff. We complied. We complied. You gave us a taste of life, and now you're taking it back, and we got to do more stuff. Bizarro world, man. Absolutely bizarro world. So yeah, shit's weird. Life's getting tougher and tougher. I haven't personally been getting spiritually kicked in the dick. Well, kind of physically. Well, a bunch of things happened. Stuff you guys don't even know about. A lot of blockages have been occurring in my life. And I feel like I'm being... I don't know what what's happening. Either 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 the the devil's out here cutting me down to size, or God is like chiseling and whittling me down to like this refined yet fortified narrow path individual teaching me like these lessons about how to live more, I don't know, I don't know how to say it, more uh, uh, considerate of, like teaching me about, it's almost like it's, I'm being taught more about how, how to be more of a chef and more how, like just how to use things in that chef mindset state, using everything and, and watching amounts and not being wasteful and, and watching costs. And it's like, it's almost like, Life is putting me through this school that's refining me for the day that I'm able to actually start my own either like cart, either trailer thing that I, I have in mind. I've been planning it all. Trailer, but like you stand in it, like it's big enough, you know, it's a, but you tow it. That's kind of ideally, not a truck, but a truck with my, like a trailer, but you know, you stand in it and you sell the shit. It's almost like life's putting me through these tests to like, show me how it is that you would properly do that and have it be successful. So I, I'm seeing the silver linings, but uh, as far as the weird physical setbacks of health, and also I had this weird happening with my G license, but maybe I'll get into that in the next video because that's a little bit of a story. It's super strange, but uh, it is what it is. But it hit, it was a like a roadblock, a cog block. It's just another kick in the old dick. And so, I don't know, life's weird. And uh, if there's a will, there's a way, but also like I need to make a way and shit lately with figuring things out. But yeah, we all go through it. And that's the other thing too, is I see so many people on my feed right now that, you know, they're living in, like some ex-friends, right? They're living in major cities. They work in hospitality. They depend on that full capacity money to, to survive because it's, it's so expensive, right? Now, life is expensive in general, but, you know, it depends where you live geographically. It's going to be more expensive. And I just see people I know. I know they're sitting at home. I know it's getting dark in here. I know they're stressed. I know they don't see a way out. I know their back's up against the wall. And a lot of people, you know, we been going through it for how long right and now it's just still happening so i don't know man i don't know we need to revolt <laughs> i told you that in my song but anyways you know trying to stay prayed up to the most and hopefully things pan out this too shall pass this is a season of trees <laughs> but uh you know, we gonna make it. We gonna be all right. <laughs>
in the words of Kendrick. Okay, till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. <laughs> Stay true.